Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this session is FDDI and SONET. FDDI stands for Fiber Distributed Data Interface. In this session, we will be also studying the SONET that is Synchronous Optical Network. First, let us talk about FDDI that is Fiber Distributed Data Interface. This type of interface is used in a uh, LAN network where fiber optic cable is used as a medium to transmit the data. We know that in the earlier video we have studied uh, there are a lot of advantages of making use of the optical cable as a transmitting medium. Now this diagram shows how this FDDI interface, I mean how this type of interface makes use of OSI model. So. This interface basically makes use of data link and physical link. Actually, the you can achieve the data rate up to 100 Mbps and thousands of users can be uh, interconnected by making use of this interface. Uh, you can achieve the LAN system around 200 kilometers length. Now, as I said, this interface makes use of OSI model. So two main uh, layers are used. One is physical link. This is the physical uh, layer of OSI model. This is the data link layer of OSI model. In case of this interface, the physical layer, physical uh, link is divided it into two parts for this FDD interface. One is physical layer protocol and another is physical medium dependent that is PMD or single mode fiber PMD that is SMF PMD. So as I said physical layer is divided into two parts. In the data link layer we have IEEE 802.2 LLC as an interface and this is the MAC layer. Now to access I mean to provide the connection between physical layer and data link layer this physical layer protocol that is PHY are used. This is the station management system. The important criteria of uh, making use of this FDDI interface is that two ring type structures are used. One is primary and another is secondary. So even if any ring structure is failed, the total system is not collapsed. The data transmission takes place to the uh, through the secondary link. That is the major advantage. Then even if the station fails, then there are many switches and they are placed in case of SMT that is station management system. So this is the highly reliable uh, system which is used in the LAN network. Now this is the dual link structure. As I said, two links are used. One is primary link and another is secondary link. Basically the data transmission takes place through the primary link, but if there is a failure or there are certain pro some problems in the primary link, then set, uh, secondary link is used. So everywhere two links are shown. Now this, uh, this is just one uh, example to explain this concept. So this is the structure of data link. Now, in uh, many cases, whenever there is a uh, large traffic, then in that case, both the rings, primary as well as secondary are used. So two rings are used. These two rings are uh, connected to the device, which is called concentrators or star points. So using star, star points, the ring, two ring structure is formed. Now these are single points, this is the dual point and so on. So two rings are used, the data rate can be achieved up to 100 Mbps. So for dual ring of trees are formed using concentrators or data points. As I said, this is the dual ring structure, first ring and second ring, which is formed by using the star points or concentrators. Then it has an inbuilt recovery system. So even if there is a failure, uh, then uh, the transmission takes place through the secondary ring. This is the primary ring, this one. This one is secondary ring. So uh, in case of a failure of a system, you are getting the protection. So it is a protected network. Now, if there is a break in the system, suppose this uh, particular position is there, whenever, wherever break takes place. So whenever there is a break in the system, then it can be controlled by SMT, that is station management uh, system. So station management consists of uh, different optical switches and uh, the uh, data can be transmitted using different paths and so on. So all stations contain optical bypass switches, which are used to provide uh, the controlling action in case of a station failure. Then Optical path is maintained 
even if there is a power failure. So this is about the FDDI interface. The next part is frame structure of FDDI. Think like this, there are n number of computers in say, let us say in a college or in a building and uh, they want to uh, make communication, they want to talk to each other. That means, let us say that all such computers are arranged in the form of circle and any computer wants to send the data, wants to transfer the data to some another computer. Then uh, the frame uh, uh, decides how to do this communication. Actually, to ensure that, to make sure that only one computer is sending the data at a time, a token system is used. Whoever computer gets the token is eligible to send the data. Now the frame structure consists of different parts. So one is preamble sessions. So this is preamble part that is PA. So it helps wrestling computer to get ready. It is as if uh, while starting any conversation we are saying hello. That means the, it helps the receiving computer to get ready to receive to accept that message coming from the sender computer then start delimiter that is sd very simple it indicates the starting position of the message then frame control fc this part this portion gives the information about which type of message is that is it a regular message or it is, is it a controlling type of message then destination address very simple, it gives the idea of the receiving address, that is destination address. Similar to this, we have SA, that is source address. So it gives the uh, information about the source address, that means which computer is sending the data, transferring the data. That information is given by this part, that is source address SA. Then protocol data unit, that is PDU. This is the important uh, portion which indicates the actual content of the message. Next is frame check sequence that is FCS. Certain secret code is given by the sender computer, transmitting computer. So this idea of this secret code is given by these bits that is FCS. Then end delimiter. Similar to the start delimiter, start delimiter HD gives idea about the starting of message End delimiter gives the information about ending of the message. Then frame status. So computers can update this part to indicate they have received the data correctly means whenever the transmission ends then computer uh, at the receiver end updates itself to in give the indication that they have received the data correctly so this is about the frame structure of fddi next important part is sonnet that is synchronous optical network so this is the typical uh, diagram uh, represents the sonnet structure as shown in this diagram here we are applying certain signals then this is sts multiplexer as well as it is mux or demux that means multiplexer as well as demultiplexer it is sts represents synchronous transport signal so if it is acting as a multiplexer then uh, it accepts many input signals and convert it into sts signal if it is acting as a demultiplexer, that means if you are using it at the receiver end, then in that case, it converts uh, STS signal and sends various signal to the particular destination. Actually, this part, STS MUX as well as STS DMUX, uh, if, you, if we are talking about STS MUX, its function is to convert the optical signal, to convert electrical signal into optical signal. And whenever uh, we are talking about DMUX, then it is, it is functioning reversely that means it converts optical signal into electrical signal then such signals are applied to sts mux as well as dmux these are the regenerators or repeaters so depending on the length of fiber optic cable that is to be implemented you need to apply different regenerators or repeaters these are bi-directional regenerators so the symbol is like this then we have shown add or drop multiplexer we have discussed this concept Many times in certain applications, it is required to add a particular wavelength or it is required to drop a particular wavelength. So this is the function done by add or drop multiplexer. Again, this is regenerator. At the other end, we are again using same block, add or drop multiplexer and the things repeat. So this is the general block schematic uh, about the sonnet that is synchronous optical network. Now, 
important uh, parameters of this sonnet are it requires a single clock for timing synchronization and for other devices then it is basically a multiplexing system i mean i mean to say this is an optical interface which works with tdm that is time division multiplexing system the maximum line rate is 10 gbps international standard related to this sonnet is sdh that is synchronous digital hierarchy only difference between HDH that is synchronous digital hierarchy and sonnet is that the basic unit of HDH is STM1 that is synchronous transmission module 1 whereas for sonnet the basic unit is optical carrier level which is denoted by OC optical carrier level. Now certain advantages so first advantage is bandwidth availability and flexibility large bandwidth is available then network reliability room to grow we can well expand the network as per the requirement high efficiency reduced cost transmission of multiple forms of uh, traffic different types of traffic can be transmitted using this interface then superior connectivity and long distance transmission its application includes main data transfer for uh, phone and internet companies then broadband internet data centers healthcare systems and efficient distribution of online media so this is about the sonnet structure dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video